everyone, this is Domina Mara and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello! I am a professional and lifestyle dominatrix of 7 plus years and today I'm going to be showing you my top Amazon picks. But first, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications by hitting that bell so you know when I have new content coming out. I post a new video every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific time and I live stream every Sunday eh, in the evenings. <laughs> I don't have a set time, but if you click that bell, you will be notified when. So, since we are all stuck at home, why not spice it up this holiday season by experimenting in the bedroom? Today, I am sharing a list of items that are an introduction to the kink world. I go over basic rundowns of what a female in charge would wear from clothing to accessories to basic implements and a variety of leather, rubber, silicone, wood, and plastic toys. Everything that I show on this video today will be linked in the description below. After curating this list, I decided to open my own store where you can purchase these items directly as well and find more things that I add daily. If you tag me with a photo of you and or your purchased items on my Instagram or Twitter accounts at Mara Domina, I will repost you. Don't forget to include my link. It is amazon.com slash shop slash Miss Mara. Let's get started. So today I have my dominatrix wear on. I have a modern version of the corset. It is a solid color with some black lace on top of it, steel boning, as well as real lacing in the back and ribbon ties in the front. To match that, I have on a pair of wet look leggings. If you don't have the money for real leather pants, or if you want to be ethical about animal conservation, wet look leggings are for you, and they are super affordable. They look good, they're very stretchy, you can wash them, and you can also pair them with these wet look gloves. Yes. These wet look gloves come in many different sizes. However, they are also very stretchy, come in different lengths. And if you look in the description below, I have linked a pair of wet look gloves with wet look stockings. Yes, if you wanna be more sexy and don't wanna wear pants, they have a stocking option. So go check that out. And of course, not everybody can wear and balance on eight inch platforms. So to ease you in, you can purchase these very classy, elegant, and basic black patent pumps. You can even wear these to formal occasions or your nine to five job should you need heels. Do note that some of these items may not be exactly the same on the links below, but I've done my best to make sure that you have similar options to choose from. Now, moving on to the implements. So for those who are just starting out or who want to be professional doms without revealing their identity, Amazon sells these beautiful laser cut Venetian masks that you can wear that will go along with all of your outfits like this corset right here. It's very stylish and it doesn't reveal your entire face. This can also be used for submissives who, if you are filming them, want to keep their privacy and don't want to be revealed. So this is a great way to kind of conceal your identity or even just to remain mysterious. Moving along to other eyewear, one of the basic things that we can do is take away the senses. And what better way to do that than with a silk eye mask? These masks are around $10 and are such a great investment. I've had these for years. They are washable and they feel really, really nice. It's padded so that 
It's not just a piece of fabric that can slide up and down, has something for the bridge of the nose, and obviously an adjustable elastic band so that it can fit any size of head. Moving along, this is a stretchy kind of jersey mask hood that has no eyes and only a mouth. So when put on a head, it looks like this. That way, the whole head is encased, except for the breathing hole for the mouth. Next up, of course, is the collar for the submissive. You want something that is going to be adjustable for any size of neck. And these ones have faux fur lined. This is great for any beginners who aren't sure if they want to, you know, go down this path, but it will ease them in. And it's also great for older players who may bruise easily. I have also a nice chain that acts as a leash. Yes, you could buy heavy duty actual pet leashes and the hardware will be sturdy. Because it's meant for real pets. I have a matching set of wrist and ankle cuffs that are also lined. This company also does unlined cuffs if you want to just jump straight into it and you know that you're going to like being bound or if you want to upgrade to real leather they also have different colors and different options found in the link description below these ones are really cute though because they actually have little locks with a key in which you can actually lock the cuffs around their limbs it's really cute <laughs> Next is this kind of hog tie piece where there's four straps with clips. If you don't know what that is, that is when your submissive is cuffed and you want to put them on their stomach or put their arms to the sides and link their ankles to their arms. So you could do that with them on their back or on their stomach. These are lobster claws and they're extremely helpful for putting and chaining your cuffed victim like so to any piece of furniture that has other links attached to it so they can't move or get out. These also come in a set and they are nickel free. Moving right along, next are ball gags. These are made of silicone and they're adjustable, of course, and some even come with a lock and key. There are different shapes, so find the shape that is right for you. I personally like these ones that look like a dog bone because it still has the feel for a gag, but it isn't as intense as the ball for very extensive play. I am a huge fan of rope and when somebody hasn't played with me previously or due to the state of needing to be extremely careful with hygiene, I have purchased these hanks of cotton rope. These are washable they are slightly stretchy and they have a really good feel for people who have never been tied before. These come in different colors and different lengths of rope as well. Be sure to take a class before you start tying because there are lots of things that you need to know, including anatomy and the safety of pressure points and stuff like that, that you cannot just learn through YouTube. Of course, when purchasing rope or with any type of 
fabric bondage, you do need a pair of medical shears. These are rounded, so they aren't going to poke you and they cut through anything. So get yourself a pair of these. I've had these for years. I've never luckily had to use them, but they are always good to have just in case something happens. This is a spreader bar. So instead of using something like this to bind somebody to, you can use these chain links and link arms or legs to an adjustable bar where your sub is static and stuck in that pose. These are adjustable through pins, as you can see here, that come out and you can slide to adjust accordingly. Very handy, very sturdy to have, especially when you have furniture or hooks that you could use in your space. You can also even add rope to this. You can tie rope through these loops. So very versatile. If you want to do a more authoritative role play, of course, having a pair of handcuffs is going to do the job. These are real handcuffs, which do lock and have a pair of keys to unlock them. Great for interrogation scenes and just cuffing people to different parts of the room. As we move into more sensory stuff, these are wax candles. Yes, you burn them and you lift it at least four feet to start and drip along skin. Be sure that you have something to cover the ground because you are going to get messy with these. But if you like temperature play, you can also contrast this with ice. These come in different colors and are wrapped individually. I haven't found a difference in the actual temperature, meaning that the blue ones are cooler than the red colored ones, but you can experiment on your own. Next up is a tickler. Sometimes it is labeled as a feather duster. These are great for sensual play, for tickling, especially if someone is extremely sensitive on the sides or on the arms, maybe between the legs somewhere. And these are great for French made role play as well. Moving on to the more painful items. These are just normal clothes pins. You can buy them in a set. I bought mine in a set of 100 and you can put them anywhere from fingers to who knows where and they will definitely make your sub alert. Speaking of alert, keep those arms up by making sure that they are able to feel it with these Wartenberg pinwheels. I have actually purchased a set of a one wheel and a five wheel. The five is a little bit more intensive for more experienced players, but you can contrast the single and work your way up to the five, or you can mix the nice with the more spicy. Next up, we have the impact implements. This is a paddle. This shape can be rectangular, oval. This one is made out of leather of some sort. It has a metal rod in the middle in between the two layers. This red part is textured. Good for diversity when you're playing. Next up, we have the 
riding crop. This is very popular in media as it's very slender and relatable to horses. This is an actual horse riding crop made out of leather as well. Has a great grip for the handle. These can come in multiple lengths as well. This is a little bit more of a pinpoint type of sting rather than the surface area of our previous paddle. But great with flexibility. Speaking of flexibility, we next have canes. These are made out of rattan. These are very, very stingy. So make sure you start out really light by just tapping like so, and then you can increase as you go along. These canes are no joke and they will leave marks. So be sure to do your research on where the safe zones are on the body. Usually the bottom is good to start, but please avoid the tailbone. Also, because these are very long, they will wrap, meaning they will go around the hip. Make sure they don't hit bone or anything related to joints. This cane is the same thing as the previous where it's rattan. However, they have encased this in leather. So it's got its own stitching and feels very nice. All right, we are going to move along. And what is a dominatrix without her bull whip? A very lovely leather bull whip that has been pleated by hand all the way down to the knotted cracker. This knot at the end is actually what helps break the sound barrier, which gives you that whipping noise. Yes, it is sharp. I believe this is three feet long, and this is the one that I practice the most with. It has a lovely sound, but this is something that will break skin. So be careful and make sure you practice before you use it on a submissive. Things to practice are aiming, obviously, because even though you have your eye on the tail part, it's the cracker that will be the one to impact the tail part. So make sure that you know how to use it. Just making it crack in the air is easy. Anybody can do it because you're not hitting anything. You're literally just whipping it into the air. The real skill is going to be actually hitting exactly where you want it to go. And when you practice, practice with both arms. I am right-handed, however, I am able to use it with my left as well. So, right, left. Next up are floggers. These are my absolute favorite implement to use because they are super sensual. They have multiple tails. I can literally hit from anywhere I want to. They look good while you're doing it and of course, I always have to have two. I like to keep myself ambidextrous while doing kink because why would I only want to use one hand? I have two, so why not use it? You can practice on a pillow before anyone else, stuffed animals tied to furniture, and you can start out with a basic figure eight. Later on, you can add the other arm and become, I don't know, cool looking, I guess. <laughs> and do double the impact. These ones I like because these are made out of real wood. However, they are really light.
And perhaps you can use the handles as stimulation for other things as well. Next up, of course, we have to have the combination of the whip and the floggers. And what better way to do that than the cat of nine tails? Yes, this is a nine tailed woven flogger that can also, I guess, be called a whip. It has a handle braided in the same leather and these wonderful rose shaped tails. The more wicked ones come knotted, but these ones are a little softer and thuddier. So these are nicer and you can use them like so or in the same figure eight style as well. These are more slender and you do have to have more of an aim than the previous vloggers. These ones are a little bit more forgiving because they are pieces of fabric that are loose. These are braided, so. Just be careful and be sure to practice many times before a real person. Now, getting on to fun stuff, as if the other items weren't fun already. This is a neon wand. Online, there's a lot of violet wands that can be used for the face. So those ones work as well since they are obviously made for the epidermis. They come in something like this, where you can have different attachments and they go into your wand. And when plugged in, it makes this beautiful noise. You can hear that electricity. That's turned all the way up. And you can see that there's a little bit of a purple glow. And all you have to do is lightly and carefully lead it up and down the skin. Be sure that you are not using electricity with people who have pacemakers. Be aware of who you're playing with, always. Next, we have every woman's favorite, the magic wand. No, it is not a microphone. It is a massager. It can literally massage anywhere that you are sore, as well as stimulate areas since it has a silicone head. This is the cordless version where you could charge it and then take it with you in any part of your home. It has multiple buttons to turn on, as well as to go up four different levels and pulse at different rates. It speaks for itself. Next, we have insertables. These are extremely cute. No, I'm not proposing to you, but this is a great way to propose to somebody. These are plugs with very, very beautiful jeweled gems. These are stainless steel and are washable as well as sanitizable. And guess what? We have multiple sizes for all of the people in your life, including the more adventurous ones. Speaking of adventure, we have a whole set for the men. Those who are interested in sounding. This kit allows you to take one of these, lube it up, and stick it into the urethra. This is a little bit for more advanced play, of course. This is something that you do need to either take a class with or go extremely slowly or have a mentor next to you. These come in different sizes all the way up to this one, which is like the size of my finger. <laughs> so, Start slow, start at the lowest, smallest one, and work your way up. 
Next up, we have cages. I have two different cages. One of them is this very heavy duty acrylic and the other is steel. I'm not going to go too much into this as I have other videos on different types of devices, but just know that these have many different options. This one looks like a handcuff, which is really cool. They come with keys or a padlock. And if they don't, well, Amazon has padlocks too specifically with keys for just that lock. They also have multiple locks that you can purchase in one pack. This is one of my preferred lubrications just because it is super versatile. It is silicone. It can go on any type of rubber, including condoms and latex cat suits. You could literally pour this on, rub it in, and you'll be shiny and good to go all day. And of course, when you're not wearing a wet look or leather gloves, and if your sub is allergic to latex, we have these nitrile examination gloves. These are powder free, they are black, and they look amazing while you're wearing them, come in different sizes, and of course are disposable. Last but not least, we have harnesses for different types of play. Not going to go into the details of it, but just know that these come with different rings and of course attachable hardware. This one I actually got a long time ago and is made of leather. However, I believe the ones that are on Amazon are washable and waterproof. So take a look at my store to get yours today. So I hope you found this video informative. I think it's the best time to buy yourself and your significant other or potential playmate some new exciting things for this holiday season and going into the new year. Once again, if you tag me on a photo of you and your purchased items from this video at Mara Domina on Instagram and or Twitter with my link, amazon.com slash shop slash Miss Mara, I will repost you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it so that others can peruse my top picks from Amazon. And until next time, be safe, have fun, and keep it kinky, everyone.